Alrighty. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just show this because it was reminding me so much of Charles Zatora when I went over to my mom's a few days ago. She was mentioning that, um, oh, I've got a bunch of VHS tapes. Would you like to take them home with you? Um, and I suspected that she probably had like a fair amount of like old, um, not just like the typical uh, sci-fi stuff because she was like, um, oh, you probably want to have Planet of the... I'm like, I've already got all those. But... Anyways, we'll get to the tape. How should I do this? I'll we'll do this stuff first. I actually, I'll tell you, it's uh, uh, ironic that um, my, I guess, my favorite gift so far was, and it was just something my mom picked up. One of the, I've been a, well, here it is. I've been a PBS uh, supporter for these guys. Oh, for decades, man, for decades. Um, actually, I'll give you a little bit of a side note with these. Um, so yeah, my mom picked these up. They they don't. Uh, I've always wanted to get some uh, mer merchandise from them, and um, always wanted a coffee cup. But still, this is good enough for me. For goodness sakes, just even have it. And uh, ironic, isn't it? Eh, that my mom obviously went uh, during November. Anyways, so I've been getting uh, go uh, supporting these guys for decades. Um, I'll give you a little humorous side note if you want. Uh, way back when, when I was a kid, you got to remember the way my brain works. Anyways, uh, they used to do Doctor Who uh, five days a week. Um, and, you know, they had the auction or the, um, the telethon type of things, you know, uh, trying to get people to send money and whatever. And I'm watching it. My parents had given me a TV by then as a kid. Uh, I was lucky son of a bee. I had a TV in my room. And... Um, you know, they're like, oh, please give money, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and in my mind, I was like, oh, my God, they're going to take Doctor Who away. I panicked, uh, panic mode like you wouldn't believe. So I phoned them up and I had a phone in my room as well. <laughs> phoned them up and, um, uh, you know, said, I'll give you this much money and whatever. I felt great and, you know, continued watching. And then, uh, uh, you know, I'm watching on TV and next thing they're like, oh, my God, we just got a... We just got a, don a donation from uh, Chris Preston in Ottawa, Canada of $250. You got to remember, this is back in like early 80s or whatever and um, a kid. Anyways, um, you uh, little did I know that my parents were in the other room, in the living room watching TV. All of a sudden I heard, Christopher! Holy F, did I ever get an earful? So I had to phone them back, and oh my god, it was a nightmare. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's that. But I uh, still support them. They get $20 US a month from me, man. Anyways, and so this stuff, so my mom was like, hey, do you want to take some of this home? And I said, actually, I just want to take one of these uh, World War, I, I guess they were still using them into World War II, I guess. Uh, but I was like, I just would like one that's like, you know, whatever. And she's like, take them all, take them all. Um, so I said, you know what? Okay, fine. I will take them all. So I've got these two. I think she picked these up from like uh, military surplus or whatever. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to keep one. I'm going to give the other two to Rob and uh, his kids can play around with them. And I guess this is a real grenade or whatever, yet again, from uh, whatever. Um, and then she's got this. But I'm going to be wear certainly wearing this in Halloween next year. Or maybe this one. But uh, whatever. And also this, which I thought was kind of nice, uh, canteen. But the, uh, so I find out, I really like this thing. So I found out that my, I knew, I've no, always known that, uh, well always, but you know what I mean. I've known that uh, my grandfather on my mom's side was a rear gunner on a Lancaster bomber. Now I found out that he did 32 missions and he was part of the 100th uh, squadron. So now I can go and look him up. Then my mom's husband, Bob says, Oh yeah, by the way, uh, my grandfather um, uh, fought at pa was in World War I, fought, uh, fought at Passchendaele, was injured. Uh, he was actually injured on the last day, the day they took the town. I was like, uh, excuse me, do people not, like, what the hell, you've, you've been leaving this alone, like, in your mind for, and you didn't know you couldn't tell me? Anyways, now let's get back to Charles the Tour and the tapes. So, well, there's a few here that uh, are not, there, yeah, you're going to see them. Probably you guys can see. No, I haven't. I'm not losing my mind and going to World War II. It's not going to happen. Well, you never know. I doubt it. Um, but I will say this. Uh, I do see why it's compelling. I see all the narratives. I've been watching, you know, gameplays of World War II stuff. Uh, I remi I'm reminded often of War uh, Wardrobe plays World War II when he's mentioning um, 
you know how compelling it is for him and so on and so forth so just saying I'm not I'm aware I think this is probably the very first aliens uh, no what the hell oh my god I took the wrong one no, 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 I did. Okay, yeah, that's right. I took aliens because my mom was like, you're not taking aliens? I'm like, well, I'm, all, I'm actually I'm, uh, more of just the alien first movie. It's, that to me is like almost perfect. Bob, uh, my mom's husband there, she, he just kept mentioning, he's, he said this about three times. It's a really good game, a uh, really good movie. So I was like, I might as well take this. I remember my parents watching this as a kid, so I just snagged it. And uh, like I said, um, I'm sure... You're like, oh boy, I've seen a lot of these. Sorry about the glare. I should be uh, trying to kind of look. But maybe I'll just do this and you can see that I'll just, like I said, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch, see all the bloody whatever. And I can't see the glare either, so I'm sorry. I'll just go quickly. But uh, obviously I have a ton of stuff to watch if I want to. As you guys would probably know about a lot of this. Yeah, I still have the... Uh, um, VHS player, so or VCR or whatever the hell it is. I don't know what the hell. Ooh. Not the restricted <laughs> I was thinking of. Uh, I was like, wait a flipping minute. Oh, the naked prey. Gosh, do I ever like this film? The only other uh, thing I've seen with this guy is uh, oh, man, I can. There's this scene. I've only seen it once. But uh, there's scenes in this I can re recollect them like there's no flipping tomorrow, um, massively. Um, and uh, the only other film I have with him is the Gargoyles, and uh, there it is. It's probably the very uh, the cassette I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, yeah, this movie is just a sweetheart and a half. Um, uh, all this other stuff. So yeah, Charles the Taurus, sorry if this is whatever, but if I was hanging out in your game den, we'd be slapping these puppies in there, I can tell you that much, man. No flipping tomorrow. And look at this. Oh my gosh. I guess this is maybe one way of starting it off. That would be like the the um the Uber um Oh, I guess they're called VHS. So um oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Doesn't matter now. So there we go. Alright! Oh, sorry. All right, that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you, but um, yeah, that at some point I will watch these things or whatever, or maybe somebody will sucker me in, but I was really actually more in, more into the World War One helmet. Okay, see you later. Hope you're having a good one.